Hey, I'm James Moore, and welcome to the Ideal Calibrations How to Repair Your Gas Detector Series. Today we're going to look at the MGC IR. It's the Multi Gas Clip IR. And this unit's got a bad oxygen sensor in it. It's freezing at 20.9 and it won't go below. So I'm going to show you how to open it up and swap the sensor. Uh, I've got a, another sensor right here. Uh, these guys used to use an Alpha Sense, which is like a purple sensor, and they've since moved to this DD Scientific sensor. So we're going to pop this unit in there. So Let's get started. So first things first, we're going to take out these six screws in the back. I'm going to use an electronic screwdriver to get them out. I'm not supposed to use one of these to put them back in, but to get them out, it's okay. Just make sure you don't strip anything. If you need a good screwdriver for working on electronics, by the way, I recommend this Dremel. I think it's phenomenal. best I've ever used. Now some of these you might have a little trouble with, like they won't want to come out as much. It's like this one's hanging out. But we're going to do the best we can. And if you get stuck where you can't get this case open, this one's probably going to open pretty well because I've already had it open once today. See it opens up pretty easy. If you have a trouble getting this separated for the first time, take one of the sensors out. Take like a small flat head. You don't want to use anything too sharp. What you can do is you can put a little pressure here and then get that in there and just kind of push through just a little bit. And you see how that'll separate out? And then once it's separated, you can get in there and kind of wiggle it apart. Just make sure you don't screw up this gasket here. Just try not to damage that, okay? All right, just be careful and take it slow. And then you can just pop it apart like that. Uh, you can see some of the screws don't come all the way out. So you just got to watch for that sometimes as you're getting those. All right, so now we've got case off to the side. And here's our our backboard, this is the battery, that's the IR right there. Got a little bit of wiring going that way. And then this is the sensor board here, main board, sensor board. So we're going to take that off. Go ahead and go into reverse. It's the screw at the bottom. Unscrew that there. Now pull this apart. Just kind of wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Don't want to pull that battery off, lock that in. You can see it's attached with these pins right here. That's what it does. So make sure when you're pulling, you pull straight up. Don't torque it to the side or you'll bend those pins. It's your vibrating alarm there. And we'll just set that aside. All right, here's our sensors here. So this right here is our Kosh sensor. So this has a CO and an H2S on it. Over here, this is the infrared sensor. This is kind of what Gas Clip is known for, is this, uh, this infrared LEL sensor. It's a pretty cool one. And now here's our oxygen sensor that's dead. We're going to pop this out. All you do is pull it straight up, just like that. If you have a little trouble, just kind of give it a wiggle, a tiny wiggle. Don't push it too hard, though. You don't want to bend any pins. Next thing you want to do is check the bottom of these pins here. You see these? Sometimes when you have a dead oxygen sensor, you'll see leakage over time. So you'll see that they've you know, leaked out or um, they have a little corrosion on there that's blue. You just kind of want to watch for that and make sure that uh, if any of that's there, that you don't get that back in here on the board. Sometimes you can clean these pins out a little bit in here, but you don't want to jam like a Q-tip down in there. You don't want to jam anything in to clean it. You have to be very gentle because if you push too hard down in there, there's little slots in there that go like this. And if you scrape them apart and you bend them apart, when you put the sensor in, they won't make contact anymore. So you got to watch for that. Just be very careful. Generally, if you have a lot of corrosion, it'll actually get on the board here, and it can ruin the sensor board. So if you open this up, you see some corrosion, give us a call. Uh, we'll try and help you out best we can with it. Okay, take our new sensor. Pop this in. Yeah, the metal pins go to metal pins. The uh, plastic pin goes right to there. It's really only one way to get this in. It's not something you can screw up. So pop that in. And now, if this were a new sensor, you would want to pop it in, plug it in, and then wait for an hour. This isn't a new sensor. We've had it up and running for a little while, so I'm just going to start it up there. But it's going to need calibration, so here we go. See this here? Just pop those in, squeeze together. Now it's locked in. Nice. Nice and solid. Take our screw. And we're going to take a screwdriver. We're not going to do this with the electronic. I just don't want to force anything on the boards. You don't have to over tighten this. Just get it taut. Okay. Pull this here. Spin our top. 
Now, I don't know if the order here really matters, but I always do this. I always rotate, kind of pretend I'm doing a car tire or something like that. So, i just get that other screw in there again. Probably not something you have to do, but a habit I've gotten in over time. Sometimes it matters, maybe. In. Okay, second to last one. You don't want to over tighten these screws either. Just get, just get them till they're taut. Uh, they're screwing into a rubber and plastic, so if you over tighten them, you can break through on that. It takes a bit to do it, but just be careful. Now, normally right now, I would say, okay, that's great, it's it's in there, set this monitor aside for an hour, and let it sit, and let the oxygen sensor uh, stabilize in there. When they're sitting out, and they're not plugged into a monitor, it doesn't complete this circuit, so what happens is you get a bunch of charge built up on one of the pins over here. Uh, so what happens is when you put it in the monitor, it's going to read super high, it's going to read, you know, 25, 30%. What you want to do is you want to wait, that way it stabilizes. It's going to slowly drain that out, and then it'll hit a stability period, and then you can turn it on, give it a zero, then give the monitor a calibration. Uh, and you can check the other video we've got on this unit for that. Uh, but that'll run you through the process, okay? All right, you have any questions on this uh, or any questions for us, feel free to shoot us an email to support at idealcalibrations.com. Or you can call us, 734-956-0539. Uh, you can press zero and ask for James if you want to get right to me. Uh, happy to answer any questions there. And make sure you like the channel, subscribe if uh, this information helped you out, and leave a comment if you have any questions. We're happy to help you out over the phone. Thank you much. You have a great day and stay safe.